but here we are on the battlefield. Now, as I said um, earlier, the likelihood is that the Saxons are going to have their artillery battery positioned somewhere down this centre line here, behind fortifications, which will make it almost impervious to um, our artillery fire. So the sensible thing really is to avoid deploying anywhere in the central area, area of the deployment zone. The added complication is, of course is that we've got reinforcements coming, enemy reinforcements coming, and we're not absolutely sure which direction they're going to come from. Logic would suggest they ought to arrive on the far side of the battlefield because they're coming from the direction of Dresden but that doesn't always um, hold true so we need to uh, deploy in such a way that we're a little bit flexible just in case they sort of appear behind us or something um, that's probably unlikely but uh, you never know so given what I've just said about the artillery we're going to deploy either to the right um, side of the deployment zone or the left side um, if we look over on the left side, there's some slightly rising ground. Um, got a little wall there for defence if we need it. And a small house. Um, if we deploy on the right, we've got quite a nice area of rising ground there. Yeah, I quite like this hill. I'm going to deploy on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is deploy the Prussian artillery battery right on this hill here. Now this is fixed artillery, so it can't move once we've positioned it. So it's very important to get it in a good position right from the start. You really want it um, as far forward as you can get it, so it's got uh, a max, uh, maximum reach across the battlefield. Um, but at the same time, you need to make sure it's not behind a hill or behind a, a building or something that's going to interrupt its fire. Okay, so having po positioned the artillery, I'm now going to um, put my infantry into groups. I'm going to group them into brigades of four regiments and basically just position them over on this side of the battlefield. There's no point being too um, pedantic about where they're placed at this moment because they're going to have to move almost immediately to deal with uh, the arrival of enemy reinforcements. So I'm really just going to place them in a sort of a large square formation, one brigade behind the other, and then we'll move them once we know where the enemy are coming from. Uh, hopefully they won't come from this side, otherwise there will be a bit of a panic, but uh, I'm sure we'll cope with it even if they do. Um, let's put our general, don't want him too close to this, just in case he do come from that direction. So that's our army sort of positioned in a loose square, um, hopefully ready for anything. Okay, let's see where the enemy are coming from then. Okay, so we have a force of enemy reinforcements coming on along this road here. There they are. That's the main force, that's the general's bodyguard, the main force. Um, the enemy artillery battery, as I, as I said, almost directly 
opposite the centre of the battlefield in their in their fortification and because we've deployed over on this side they can't really hit us and then on the far side right over in this corner we have the other unit a room of Saxon reinforcements coming on I'm going to show you there So the enemy's main body seems to be coming down this road here, although they'll probably head over towards the city. So what I propose to do is send my first brigade forward and position it in this enclosure here so it can take um, advantage of that low wall for protection. And I'll move the second brigade alongside it. So we're on two brigade front. Third brigade I'll position here as a reserve. And the fourth brigade is going to head over here deliberately. The intention there is that it's going to overrun the artillery battery eventually can approach it hopefully from an angle so that you can't be fired at. Um, my general will move up close to the artillery on the hill there and I'm going to move the cavalry up here on top of the hill as well in reserve and perhaps slightly behind the hill just in case. Yep. Okay so that's the initial dispositions um, obviously they won't necessarily be fixed we'll change them as we see fit. Let's see. I'm not anticipating the artillery is going to have much of a role to play in this battle really. It's uh, fixed artillery is a bit uh, bit, bit of a, a new uh, well not a nuisance. It has its uses in sieges but in field battles it's a bit restricted in its value. That's why I would have liked to have had field artillery before we started but uh, didn't have time to research it and construct it and everything. They've built a wall right across the road. That's a bit foolish. Bad terrain work there. First brigade's nearly in position. Second brigade's coming up quite uh, nicely to the right. that. 
Gen with bodyguard for example. Okay, time for the first brigade to form square, I think. Suicidal of their general. Not to send more cavalry over here. Yeah? That's my artillery lobbing shot in as well. Clever use of cavalry, really. Oh, this is the fourth brigade coming across, ready to attack the artillery battery. Right, is that their cavalry finished? Yeah, I think so. Right, take the first brigade out of square. Right, I'm going to take this leading regiment, form it into an attack column, and order it to overrun the enemy battery. brigade back now into line with the other two brigades.
looks like the main Saxon infantry attacks are going to be coming down on the left hand side of this wall here. Seem to have a huge column of infantry coming down there. Straight towards the 4th Brigade. Alright, some of them going around the flanks there. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to move swing the 1st Brigade round so that it's actually facing the flank and move the third, third brigade, second brigade sorry. so I'm going to try a sort of an envelopment arrangement The third brigade moves to protect this left flank, just in case they do come round that side. this third brigade into position on the flank there. Okay, to form these guys into square. But they can't be outflanked. Okay. Swing this third brigade round now so that it's up to assist.
So, time to swing this regiment round. Maybe we can attack far into the enemy's flanks. Do likewise. Sort of uh, firefight going on now. Mm. We need to move yeah. the second brigade forward now. It's not uh, really putting much value in right back there. Let's move it right round here now. Seems to be where the main action is. 28th Regiment's uh, stuck in the square. Pikemen are running, the second pikemen have had enough. But they've realised they've been enveloped. some cavalry in I think. the end of the battle. Pretty straightforward. Decisive victory.